I get asked the question all of the time, Justin, how do I choose what PKM app or note-taking app for my system? For personal knowledge management, I think there's an important question that many people are not addressing when trying to choose an application, and that's what kind of information are you using or are you going to put into that app? And that's the subject of today's video. In my mind, there are really two different types of information that go into a note-taking app. And as a result, there are two really different classifications of apps. First, you have structured knowledge, and then you have unstructured knowledge. In the structured knowledge camp, in my mind, is information that really thrives in hierarchy and context in a specific place. You understand what its purpose is, you understand why it's there, and you need to be able to retrieve it quickly and easily when you are trying to access it. Structured knowledge really is things like processes, checklists, documentation, maybe an emergency document for your family saying, hey, in case of emergency, here's all of these things that you need to know about. It can be a budget, uh, it can be project management, it can be a content calendar. These are all structured pieces of information that thrives in a more structured environment. On the unstructured side of things, take a book note, for example. Maybe you've read something like David Epstein's Range, which is a book about generalists in a world of specialists. It's one of my favorite books of all time. And you have this beautifully crafted note with all of your notes on that subject from that book. But then you plop it in a note-taking system. Where does it belong? What is its relation to everything else in there? Some of that might be unclear. And the reason being is that this is a piece of information that thrives on the context of the other information that it's related to in your note-taking system. So while you might only have one note on the topic of generalists from that book, over time, maybe you've joined a community like Generalist World, which is a community that's geared specifically towards generalists and helping them succeed in their careers and you've learned something about it. Maybe you're learning about different types of roles that generalists can succeed in more than uh, other types uh, of minded people. And you're adding that to your system. Well, now over time, the relationship of that book note has changed and the value of it has changed over time due to the context in which it lives inside of your note-taking or personal knowledge management app. That is what I think is the strength of an unstructured system, but not all information belongs in an unstructured system. Some of it is structured. And so if you're going to keep structured information, do you put it in an unstructured app or vice versa? Now, I think there are different types of apps that really fit into these two buckets. I'll use two for example. One is Notion. Notion's an amazing app, it's super flexible. Some people do take their unstructured book notes in there, but I think Notion really excels as a structured app. It's very hierarchical. It reminds me often of a wiki, a company website, so to say, that anybody can go in and easily edit. And it really thrives on having metadata. It really thrives on having that extra information there and information tends to have its place. Yes, you can backlink and crosslink things. You can freely link to other pages, but the way that Notion is built, in my mind, thrives on structured information. On the other hand, in the unstructured camp is a tool like Obsidian. I think Obsidian is a fantastic unstructured note-taking tool because it's built on networked thought. Okay. So maybe you're looking at picking between these two applications. How do you make that decision then? Well, again, you come back to that question. What types of information am I storing? If it's just one or the other, it's a pretty easy choice, right? Use the unstructured app for unstructured information. Use the structured app for structured information. But if you have a mix of it, say you're taking some book notes and you have some journals, but you wanna document some things that for your family, or you want to have maybe a couple of light business processes or checklists documented in that place. Well, you can use a tool like Obsidian for that. Or if you're really heavily focusing on building business processes, maybe you're looking at creating a wiki for uh, some freelancers that you're hiring at your company 
or whatever it is that you're trying to do, maybe a structured app would serve you a little bit, uh, a little bit better. But maybe you have some unstructured notes you want to shoehorn in there as well. That's totally okay. The thing is, it's important to consider the type of information that you're putting into the app before you start committing to the app. I am a big proponent of the thought process of solving problems that you actually have instead of solving problems that you might have. And this is one of the problems perennially that happens in the productivity and personal knowledge management world. You start to solve for things that you might run into down the road, which ultimately leads to friction. And if you're not considering the type of information that you're trying to store in your personal knowledge management app right now, ultimately this is going to cause friction for you down the road. The other thing to think about too is your tolerance level for having information in different places. Some people have absolutely no problem with putting information in Notion, in Obsidian, in Todoist, in Dev and Think, and all across the board. Some people link those together, other people don't. But other people, they don't have the same tolerance level. In fact, they would appreciate having that information all in one application as much as possible. If you're going to have it all in one app, then it's all the more important to consider the type of information that you're putting in there, because if it leans more one way, structured or unstructured, that will help you decide the app that you should at least start off with. You can always migrate in many cases. It's harder to migrate out of Notion than it is out of Obsidian. I will tell you that uh, just due to the way that those apps are built, but it does help you at least try to alleviate some of the problems that you'll have early on when you're loading up that system and building it out. If you're trying to build an unstructured system in a structured app, you might run into some friction unless you're willing to work through the process of building that system out a little bit more manually. So that's really it. The big point here is consider the kind of information you're putting in your note-taking app, structured information or unstructured information. If you do that, I think that helps you clarify the type of app that you might want to use down the road. That's it for this video. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Justin with Effective. I'll catch you in the next one, but until then, stay effective.